Hey Capricorn, this is going to be your reading for March 2022. Well, glad you could join me here today. Let's see a Celtic cross for you. Right there. Let's see what we got. A lot of hard work going into this new phase of your life. I feel like Capricorn here, you may be having to like read, cycle through a lot of mail. I'm getting a lot of messages. I'm getting a lot of uh, details, a lot of also fake, fake scam kind of uh, spam emails. You're also deleting a lot of kind of junk you have to cycle through to learn about but I feel like you've been up to speed with all of your accounts you recently had to walk away from some energy some energy of being upbeat and out there now I feel like you want to reserve yourself maybe you have to penny pinch something happened maybe you have spent a lot of money at a party that you recently went to I feel like you're counting your blessings as well though you're looking at some kind of catalog Of something you want newly designed and you're also doing the the chores of the house I feel like it's something that you've been doing things day to day daydreaming about a certain part of your life that's missing um, maybe some kind of health or youth um, I know this is like a really negative story but this is the story I'm getting please you know click off if it doesn't resonate for you I feel like you are trying to restore the love in your life, um, but you don't want to be in your head about all the things that have went wrong, but it seems like it's really getting to be getting worse and worse in your mind. But on the outside, I feel like things are going just fine. I, as a matter of fact, I feel like even things are improving, but there's a lot of mental anguish you seem to be dealing with about a new phase of your life. Um... You're trying to you were trying to use work to drown that out for a while but now it's not even working and I feel like recently when you you maybe had a gathering and you really thought of something negative and you're like I don't know when is this gonna end or some kind of void empty feeling you really it really shook you and you may you want to come back out and and accept yourself maybe you don't want to have so many commitments at once I feel like you do feel like if you were to commit to this higher mission or higher calling that one thing that you would lose is the ability to still have your freedom in times of going around the town maybe a, a certain idea you have is going to take your social life away um, you know, if you're going to develop this business or relationship or it could be some if you wanted to devote yourself to Mastering certain art form or task. I feel like that is going to take like about maybe four months four years I'm saying for some uh, But I feel like you're throwing that idea up up in the air about it You really want to be happy and feel fulfilled out of your life But you really don't want to work hard for nothing like you want it to be for something and you want to be able to stay you want to be able to have a flexible schedule. I see. I don't want you. To, like I guess the feeling that I'm getting from you is that you don't want it to be where you're tied down. You want to be able to experiment with any new ideas while you're still at a workspace. You don't want to have your uh, jurisdictions def defined. You want to be a free bird. Is what I'm seeing in your workspace or in this whole 
idea about this business okay how people are seeing you right now is they don't know what to say about you they feel like you're on the move a lot they feel like you maybe sometimes they think of you as your head is up in the clouds but i feel like you are uh distracted by something negative it's not that you're distracted by fanciful thinking about the future or the present i feel like you've been getting pretty consistent results uh when you're putting some effort into stuff and I do feel like, but I do feel like this big purchase that you made, it, it didn't make you feel better. Okay, I'm seeing how your hopes and fears here is all the work that has to put in. I think you got to start somewhere, but I feel like that's the one thing that you've been thinking about recently. And you know that it's going to come up to a decision. So all in all, what I'm seeing here, Capricorn, I hope you enjoyed the reading. What I'm seeing here is that you're in your head about the decisions of the pathway of how to start up this new thing or how to begin, where to begin, you know. And I feel like you do, you don't want to put in all this work in for nothing and you want it to be a reflection of something that makes you happy. You don't want to just do it to impress somebody anymore. I feel like you're trying to design the new life, but that has you stressed. You wish things were more simple like it was in your past, but you're coming up to the fact that it's a newer responsibility. And that itself is also a burden, but it is also the inevitable path. All right, I love you, Capricorn. I'll see you guys on the next one. If you want to book a personal reading like this one, you could do that at aceofchalices.net. Later.